Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Let's see what's making news. 14-year-old skateboarder Arissa True has just made Olympic history, becoming the youngest Aussie to ever win a medal. Ooh, hey. That's right, Nat. <laughs> After becoming the first woman to land a 720 and a 900, Arissa True has added another record to her list at the Women's Park Final in Paris. At just 14 years and 86 days old, she's become the youngest Aussie athlete to ever win an Olympic gold. Or any medal, for that matter. It feels amazing having the gold medal around my neck. It's been like my goal since watching the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Back home on the Gold Coast, Arissa's friends had a huge sleepover at the skate school to watch it all unfold. Yeah! And it's a really hard thing to be able to get into the Olympics, let alone get a gold. But it wasn't a smooth ride. Arissa had a fall in the first round of the comp that had some fans a little bit worried. We were on the edge of our seats. At some points I thought like the other countries would win, but then in the end she just kept on leaping up back above them into first. So, how's Arissa celebrating her historic win? The gift I asked for my parents if I like won was if I could get a pet duck. A pet yeah, duck. Pet. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to consider about it. <laughs> US Vice President Kamala Harris has picked her running mate for the upcoming election. The Democratic presidential candidate announced Minnesota's governor, Tim Walz, will run as the vice presidential nominee. He's a former school teacher, served in the Army National Guard and coached American football. He used his first speech to take aim at Republican Donald Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance. And I gotta tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. The 2024 MTV Video Music Award nominations just dropped, and there's a familiar face leading the way. Yep, Taylor Swift has scored a massive 10 nominations, including the big one, Video of the Year, for Fortnite featuring Post Malone. Ariana Grande, Eminem and Sabrina Carpenter have also done well this year, with six nominations each. Now it's time to meet some kids in Melbourne who are teaching other kids at their school about climate change and the environment. Here's Justina. So, um, what's the fire ratings, Penelope? From bushfire safety. A firebox is something that we'd use if the fire danger ratings are either high or there is a fire near you. To climate change and marine pollution. Just a deck you need this? No, I can't eat this. These students at Harkaway Primary School in Melbourne have become the teachers when it comes to all things environmental. They don't like pats on the heads. In fact, some experts are calling for more schools to teach this kind of stuff in class. They say it can help kids understand what they can do to help the environment and work towards a cleaner future. This is us testing pH levels. And these guys are already putting their knowledge to good use. Make sure that we've got more bins around, maybe planting some more trees. When you litter, you're not just affecting, like, it's not just affecting the environment, it's also affecting the animals that are in it. And I just think that kids have a right to learn about this stuff. Now it's time for some stories that might just give you deja vu. Uh, we've done this before. Yeah, we have. But I can guarantee you, we haven't done these next stories yet. First up, to London, where a new stencil painting by street artist Banksy appeared overnight. It's the second night in a row that a new artwork has popped up. If you watched the show yesterday, you might remember we showed you this one. Well, now we've got two elephants in windows and still no clue as to what it all means. Now to Switzerland, where 19-year-old Ethan here is attempting to set the record for the youngest person to fly solo to all seven continents. I started on May 31st. I've already been through seven countries. He's been learning how to fly since he was 13 and made the decision to fly around the world to try to raise a million dollars for cancer research. And finally, to California in the US, where a puppy yoga class is underway. Nothing can go wrong. Even if you get peed on, it's fun pee. Um, OK. Uh, and if you're wondering what the benefits of puppy yoga are, well... They provide oxytocin, dopamine... Oh! <laughs> and they also get frisky. Oh, yeah, they get frisky. Woo! Frisky. It's fun. They get playful. Right. Uh, well, that's all we've got for you today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>